Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to tie the trucker's hitch. And this is the version everyone wants to know because it's so easy to undo. You just need to undo this section and then to undo this knot you just need to give it a hard tug. We're going to start off by tying a clove hitch and we'll do that by just taking the end of our rope and coming in underneath the rail and to the left, take it back around to the right and then down through this little hole here. And that will be a clove hitch and that's how we're going to start it off. When you tie this first knot, just tie this on the driver's side of the vehicle or the drive side of the trailer, wherever you're tying your trucker's hitch and then coil your rope up and throw it over the other side so you can do the main part of the knot away from traffic. And when you throw this over your load, just make sure there's no pedestrians over the other side. So once we're over the other side, we just want to take our rope and put it over the rail and then pull up a bite. And then we want to stick our left arm through that bite and grab the rope that's behind it and pull this through and then drop this top bite. It's going to look like that. Now we want to grab this rope that's coming over the load. We're going to wrap it around this bite here to form a loop. We'll wrap it forwards once and then we're going to wrap it again to the left hand side just like that and we'll pinch that off and then we'll pull the load until you feel that this knot tightens up and then we can let go of it once you feel it's tight you can really pull on this rope to tighten it right up So I'm just changing angles so you can see what's going on a little bit more clearly now. So I've got this bite and I'm just going to take the rope that's on the far side and I'm going to wrap it around this bite here to form a loop. So I'm going to come underneath and wrap it forward once. And then I'm going to wrap it again on the left hand side of this initial wrap so it crosses over. So I've wrapped that around twice now and you'll be able to see it's crossed here at the center. Now I just want to hold that knot so it stays in place. And so I changed angles again so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to hold that knot in place and then I'm going to get the free end and just pull it until this knot tightens up and you'll be able to feel that underneath your hand. And once you feel that knot is tight you can let it go and then continue tightening the whole way up. Then to finish it off we're just going to finish it off with another clove hitch and we'll do that by taking the rope over the rail behind and to the left. Pull that through then around the other side to the right here and then down through that hole. And that'll be a clove hitch to finish it off. Just want to come in around behind again, pull that tight, and then the excess we can just tie it off up on this section with an overhand knot. And that'll be the finished trucker's hitch. Nice and tight.